So we were talking about this before. The word Amalekiah. So we've mentioned before that in Hebrew, the underlying word Melek means king. So there's been proposals about what Amalekiah's name means in Hebrew, and it seems to do with kingship. And it's interesting, there seems to be an underlying wordplay going on in the Book of Mormon. If we could translate this back into the original languages, that it says he desires to be a king, right? So Amalekiah wants to be a Melek. And this I-A-H comes from the word Jehovah. Yo Yahweh. And we have names like Isaiah and Jeremiah. And Mosiah. And Mosiah. Well, all have to do with Jehovah. And I've heard some proposals. Now, again, we're not totally sure, but this is interesting. That Amalekiah's name might mean, I rule as Jehovah. This is what Tyler's talking about. That's what the devil wants. He wants to cut Jehovah completely out. And if that name happens to be correct of what Amalekiah means, Amalekiah is a prototype for the kind of people we should totally avoid and spend our lives standing against. Because only Jesus is Jehovah, and Amalekiah, if we look at what he tries to do, he wants to fully dominate everybody and not have anybody have the liberty to worship the real Jehovah.